Good evening. Hello, how are we doing everybody? Hello Ray, how are you? What do you what do you, this is what I have to live with. It's like, oh, you're, just, you're sitting in silence, are you? Then, obviously, I must be, uh, I must be a pest. Um, <clears throat> he, he was being a pest earlier than he buggered off because I think he realised I was just singing to myself. Uh, as I was just, uh, just going through some old R.E.M. songs. It was like, I haven't listened to R.E.M. in a while. And as you can see in the down below, I've been making my R.E.M. puns. Leonard Bernstein! Hi, oh, yes, yes. Good evening, Rick. How are you doing? How are you? yip a doop a doop a doo Right, what do we want? Games. We want that folder. He is helping by... Uh, <clears throat> but just sitting there, I'm sure he's helping. So, <coughs> helping, aren't you? Helping. Yes, hello. <clears throat> well, it was quite funny earlier. So, uh, if you've been in the Discord, you might have noticed uh, that I've made arrangements. Very quick arrangements, literally. Uh, someone knocked on my door earlier this afternoon. It's like, oh, I'm in the area. I've been doing some work at your neighbours, and I was just wondering if, uh, if there's any sort of like gardening or like housework things. And I was like, gardening, yes, right. Look at that mess. Can you do anything? <clears throat> and uh, yeah, so from tomorrow, because that's the availability that apparently this uh, this dude and his team have. Uh, they're going. I'm going to be having people tearing up my garden so that it could all be just... Uh, we're just going to pave it. I'm not having any grass. I'm not having any bushes. I'm not having any plants because I just... I can't look after me, two cats, and a bunch of plants. It's not possible. So, uh, so yeah, as of, <laughs> as of tomorrow, someone's going to come churn it all up. Which would be cool. It means we can have parties in the back garden then. But as it, as this dude is sort of like, you know, looking around the back garden and stuff, uh, the cats show up and they're just like being super cute and adorable with him. And I'm like, you fuckers, you're never like that with me, are you? Unless you want something. Huh? You're cute and adorable when some stranger comes around to dig up the garden, but no, you're never keeping adorable with me, are you? <clears throat> anyway, I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, instead of looking out the window and seeing just a mess of weeds, I, I, I've got blackberries in there somehow. I don't know how that happened. Well, I know how it happened. These fuckers bring seeds through. Um, <clears throat> but instead of looking out and seeing like a mess of mainly weeds and apparently blackberries, it's just going to be it's just bricks. <clears throat> lovely, lovely bricks. And then I'll get some garden furniture. Kitty funded blackberries. Yeah, so you go. You've been funding blackberries that I never use. That's it. You lie there. Right. <clears throat> He's, uh... Hi. Just lying there looking at me. Hi, how are you doing? Beans! I've got your beans! Got your beans! Tickle your beans! I'm tickling your beans! What are you going to do about it? Alright, if that were a snarf, he'd have decked me one. Four coat, doesn't care, doesn't care. E flop. <coughs> Yes, hello. Hi. Did you just kiss my hand? Hi. You never give me a kiss. He, he, he permanently looks unimpressed. That's, that's your general state of being, isn't it? Unimpressed. Sometimes, sometimes, particularly when he, if I wake him up, um, he looks not just unimpressed, he, he looks like an old man. I mean, you are kind of an old man. You're eight, aren't you? You're eight years old. I still think of you kittens. 
but you are in fact eight years old. Which is apparently senior for cats. Hi, yes. <clears throat> right, what, what are you doing? Where are you going? I said, get your butt on. Look at that. Look at him. Look at him. You're ridiculous. You're ridiculous, aren't you? Ridiculous, ridiculous child. Yes. Hello. I'm, I'm going to play a video game. Okay. I'm going to play a video game. Maybe a little later, as more people come in. <clears throat> That's it. You have a sit down. Don't knock my bottle over. Right. <clears throat> Here we are. T just is that three quarters of the way. Would you say three quarters of the way? I reckon three quarters of the way. <coughs> just gonna. Hello. Yes. Look. Just because I press buttons. Here we are at the temple, which I think. Uh. You missed the last stream. Uh, <clears throat> that's kind of fair. Uh, we ended the last stream kind of early, I think, because we got to this point and it was like, all right, cool, this seems to be uh, <clears throat> a good place to wrap up because we're in a new chapter. Hello, Art. How you doing? Welcome, welcome. Uh, and yeah, I think we're at the temple at the end of the world. Hence all the REM lyrics down there. That's great, it starts with an earthquake, birds and snakes and aeroplanes. <clears throat> Manny Cavalero is not afraid. Um, so here we are, at, at the temple at the end of the world, I guess. And... Hey, where is everybody? Waiting area two. How long do they have to wait in there? Until they have tickets. They were issued tickets on the number nine, and they don't have them now. The punishment for selling double-end tickets is very severe. Uh -huh. They didn't sell their tickets. Their tickets were stolen. By who? Hector Le Mans stole them to sell to rich people who don't deserve them. That might be them now. Let's see just what they deserve. Ah, this is the number nine. Hello, operator. Give me number nine. Don't know the rest of that song. The Hector. Oh, it's getting slightly disturbing. Well, which also reminds me. <clears throat> okay, content warning is correct. So. It looks a little ungainly, but I bet that hat is really warm. <laughs> I think I've got everything else covered, haven't I? I need to start putting a checklist. I was going to say here, but that's where my monitor is. And up there is where my lights are. <clears throat> or do more scripting. What happened to that train? Your destiny cannot be purchased. I don't understand. Why has everyone been detained? Given a ticket, a soul may not sell it. They didn't sell their tickets. Someone else is trying to. Bring the tickets. That is all. Bring the tickets. Okay. The tickets are in El Maro. How can I get there quickly? These rails are already there. Well, thanks for the help. The gate opens. The gate closes. It does not help. Okay, sure. I think that's all I've got, isn't it? Yeah, okay. What's in here? This the the so 
someone's been at the grass. Oh, 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 look out. Hello. Who wants to sing song? No, oh, he's... not again. <laughs> hey, how'd you get free? I was born free, Boatnik. Nobody gave me no ticket, so nobody can take it away. So what are you pacing around here for? Trying to unwind a little bit. All those years circling in one direction. Got to even out my life in this world before I go on to the next, you know? Well, that ought to do her. Goodbye, Chapito. Happy trails, Captain. And thanks for setting me straight back there in the drink. This little light of mine, <laughs> I'm gonna let it shine. shine. This little, little light, light of mine, mine. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna let, let it shine. shine. This little <laughs> light of mine, I'm gonna let oh, it yeah. shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Hide it under some seaweed. No! no. I'm gonna let it shine. He's gone now. It's okay. Can we can we go in here? Nope. What else is happening around here? Oh look. <laughs> wow, this mural has all the stuff we didn't put in the brochures. I don't need a map now. I'm here. I'd rather just buy the postcard in the gift shop. Okay, so we get a mural. <sighs> That's your you of the evening. Let it shine. I could walk out of this world right now and not look back, but I can't. I can't do it. I'm not leaving without the people I promised to save. Oh, wow. Manny, you got some morals. More than me. Right. That hole looks like it should be something. Maybe it's part of a puzzle later. Oh well, nothing else going on in here, huh? Is that the mural again? The, that's the fucking mural again. I mean, I love a good railway station, but this one's a little bit empty. It needs an underpass with some shops. Right. These must go all the way back to Elmaro. Was it you that made that switch point straight down? The living train does what it does. I get the feeling that operating that switch is out of my powers. Ah, oh, boo. Not picking that up. Not picking that up. Well, it's not that I'm afraid or anything, but there are easier ways into the station. And I'm not walking back to El Maro. Okay, so we gotta get a train back to El Maro to get the tickets. That seems to be the general shape I'm seeing here. Okay. <clears throat> Recently, I was visited by a bird with a human head. Do you know such a bird, Manuel Calavera? No. How do you know my... He knew you, and for <laughs> you, he left this note. Oh, cool. Hi, Kathy. How you doing? I know what you're up to. I've been watching. Stay there. I'm coming to sprout you myself. Yours truly, Hector Lamans. Híjole. Oh no. Hector's come and get us. Fine, whatever. <clears throat> uh, what have we got? We got something, something in there. Hear the name of the Great One. Glottis. Glottis. <laughs> What's happening? How many days has this grand demon gone without driving? Well, we've been hiking for months. Months? months? <laughs> oh, then the Noble One will surely die. But... 
Not Clark S. Also, why do they sound like the aliens from uh, Galaxy Quest? Mm, Gary. I think that's what Gladys would look like if he hadn't drunk his milk growing up. <laughs> What's wrong with him? Do you not know the one purpose, the one skill, the one desire of this humble spirit? Yes, but we've been so far away from cars and civilization for so long. Why, why did he ever leave his home? I, uh, I got him fired and then I needed a ride. Oh, Gladys, what have I done to you? Can you cure him? His spirit has fallen so low, normal driving would not cure him in time. He needs to go faster. <laughs> faster. <laughs> ba faster. <clears throat> Do you have any vehicles here that we could use to revive him? Only the trucks that deliver the souls. But they are slow. So slow. So slow. Who are you guys? We, we are, are mechanics. mechanics. Same as he. But we have never before seen one of our kind so... So large. I've got to go see what I can do. Come back quickly, for his time here is not long. So save Clot is by getting him to ride fast, maybe on these uh, cable cars? <clears throat> he wasn't driving when we found him. No, this is true. But then... Then he had a taste of driving and and chrome and maybe it's like heroin or something i am anyway gladys i'm sorry Manny. why didn't you tell me you were sick couldn't <laughs> stop have to save everyone are you in much pain my friend only because i let you down Manny. oh gladys what can I get you? Will anything help? I need to race to fly like like the old days, Manny, in the bone wagon. But the bone wagon's not here, Carnal. Maybe I'll see her on the other side. Can't we make a new hot rod? Those days are done, Manny. <laughs> no more hot rod. Hey, what's that red thing? The gondola? <clears throat> Sweet decal work. Oh, Listen, yeah. Fellas, somebody, somebody get a pen. <laughs> there it is. My final work. It could save me if you have the right, <coughs> the right <coughs> fuel. What fuel, Gladys? Gladys. All right, we need fuel, huh? It looks like blueprints for a rocket sled. They're Rock. brilliant. It looks like blueprints for a rocket sled. They're brilliant. Gladys, what fuel? Is it these? Okay, Mache. I wonder if she blames me. Okay, so why, when we're walking up here, a shadow's forming on the, on there that related to us up here? There, what, what? Meche, we have to get back to Omaro for the tickets. Oh, Gladys. Okay, so she's just looking after Gladys. Gondolas? I knew we should have checked this side of the mountain before we walked up. <laughs> Oh, wait, we walked to the mountain with hey, how about a gondola ride, Gremlins? He's too big. The gondola is too slow. Yeah, but what if we get the right fuel? All right, let's have a poke around. Obviously, there's in here. The kitchen! What have we got? It's the mug rack at the end of the world. <laughs> Sadly, I have no mug to hang. The last thing I need is a cheesy novelty mug, especially one that says gondola mechanics do it without a net. <laughs> it's closed. Fine, open it. It's full of rags. It's full of rags. Always a good idea to have a clean rag around. All right, so we got some rags. I already have a rag I don't know what to do with. I already have a rag I don't know what to do with. Anything else? 
What about the toaster? Always heavy towel. Are we make we could be making death sandwiches? Food poisoning? All There's I know is I made myself a sandwich. To avoid further <sighs> mishaps, Didn't agree with me. Please butter your English muffins after you toast <laughs> facilities. There's always a story behind every sign, isn't there? But then what would the little mechanics toast their tiny English muffins in? Okay, so at some point we're going to find something almost entirely but not unlike a tiny English muffin. You work someplace where someone put cereal in the toaster. What? How? So. <laughs> I'd bet there was a. <laughs> oh, look. I have a bag full of loose, small things that are probably not much bigger than this. I'll pour them in the toaster. Wow. A minor breakage for a second. I'll bet that, to be honest, uh, to just replace the toast entirely. Uh, what's going on here? Your mother doesn't work here. Since nobody listened to my last warning about keeping this refrigerator clean, I'm afraid I'm going to have to lock it until some of you grow up. Signed, the facilities department. Oh, wow. Your mother doesn't. I'm afraid I'm going to have to lock it until some of you grow up. <clears throat> right, uh, nothing with the mat. So we got a to we got some rags. We got a toaster. I maybe we put the rags in the toaster. That seems like maybe a thing. Let's let's keep looking around. Pass ag fridge notes, well, it's huh? Good to know they recycle oil out here at the end of the world. That's why I didn't use the word fridge. My joints don't need any oiling right now. Not paid to move those. Well, it's good to know they recycle oil out here at the end of the world. How eerie. They have the same tool cabinets as Gladys. Not picking that up. How eerie. They lock up their tools just like Gladys. Ooh, spooky. How eerie. They have the same tool cabinets as Gladys. Right. I know what you're up to. I've been watching. Stay there. I'm coming to sprout you myself. Yours truly, Hector Le Mans. What if we took a rag? What if we made it an oily rag? This better not stay in my pocket. What if we put an oily rag in the toaster? Not again. Will they never learn? It was the little guy. I saw him. Ah, and he denied it the last time. <laughs> yeah, don't try this at home, kids. They animated two elevators. There's money left for no two kind of assets. Exactly. Okay, so we, we got... We got someone to come out and put the fire out. I assume this is a repeatable puzzle. It was a good idea to have a clean rag around. <laughs> I don't know if this is a that's a timed puzzle or anything. Right, what else is going on? Let's let's have a nose. Ah, oh, Gladys would love these. What happened in here? Nothing in the cab but donut boxes and coffee to go cups. Locked. Probably to keep out the Yeti. There's a Yeti? Not picking that up. 
Not picking that up. Locked. Probably to keep out the Yeti. Same as the other cab. Looks like standard DOD issue. Cool, open it. Bruno? Bruno Martinez? You! You were the guy who packed me in there! You could have at least <laughs> given me a magazine! Four years with nothing to read but this damn mug! What are you doing here? Well, now we get and a mug to put in the tree. Way, why didn't you offer me a lift? Ah, wait, I'm getting out of here. This world's for suckers. <laughs> I drink it, but I don't want to get a packing foam mustache. Pa oh, packing foam, huh? There's some packing foam in here with a Bruno-shaped dent in it. Spandable packing foam. I already film. got a mug full of that stuff. I already got a mug full of that stuff. All right. There's something. What else is going on? That's the road we came in on. Nothing out there but snow and a perfectly good pair of sunglasses. Why do you walk so slow, Manny? Hello. Wow. No echo. We truly are at the edge of the world. Hello. Wow. We truly are at the edge of the world. <laughs> okay. So. What can we do with a mug full of packing foam? What can we do with a mug full of packing foam? What can we do with a mug full of packing foam? Aside from hang it on the... <clears throat> we hang it on the mug tree. I hate it when people leave their crusty mugs out in the break room. Is the packing foam going to interact with... God, was there something way back in the beginning of the game about the packing foam and the fire extinguisher stuff? There was, wasn't there? Are we getting, like, a really deep call back here? Is that what's going to happen? I'm sure there was. This better not stain my pocket. Yep. What was in that mug? Something that powerful could fuel a... A rocket! A rocket! Well, I could score you a couple of truckloads if you're interested. We shoot you now like an arrow into the wind. May you pierce the heart of the wind itself and drink the blood of flight. Speed is the food of the great glasses. Speed bring you life. Come back to us someday. Here we go. Wahoo! You sure this thing's going to hold together? Uh, at least most of the way. Hey, look! We're all ready to move a cover. Manny? Manny? Manny, where are you? Manny, I'm frightened! Oh no, Glottis, no, no, no. Glottis! <coughs> Alright, we're back here, huh? Ah, Rubicaba! What a town! 
Remember the glory days, Manny? Long gone, my friend. There's nothing here for us now. Except maybe our old car. Dios mío. Uh -huh. She's been booby-trapped. By who? Who? <laughs> what a booby trap as well. Look at this. Oh. Who could have booby trapped the car? Domino. Uh -huh. You return with chips and battered sausage. Oof. Those dominoes are like one long fuse. Oh, wow. It's a great big huge thing that goes to the plunger here. Brilliant. Is this a timed puzzle? I'm not setting foot down there. The slightest bump could start those dominoes tumbling. I don't think my hands are steady enough for that. It it is rather ridiculous, but then again, when you're a gangster whose na nickname is Domino, I suppose. We're, also, I like the fact that you've got like the regular sized dominoes up to the bigger ones. You know, like the meme, but twenty years ago, or twenty four years ago, even. All right then. Maintenance has gotten pretty lax around here, apparently. So no shortcuts that way. I'll just run, Manny. Run! That goes to the upper dock, but nothing's docked there now. The game was on, nothing made was probably more current at the time. <laughs> right. I remember when we spent ages around here trying to get our beat poetry right. Right, Captain? Manuel Calavera? Ha ha ha! Well, what happened to the limbo? Hate to tell you, Velasco, but she went down at the Pearl. But we found a new ship, the SS La Mancha, and managed to. The La Mancha? My old rusty bucket? Where is she? Oh, well. We traded her in Puerto Zapato for a team of sled dogs. That does it. I'm out of this stinking mob <laughs> town. But thanks for finding my baby, Manny. Puerto Zapato, here I come. Mob town? You'd think after two years he'd have the little SS Lumbago's lifeboats on at least. Oh, the ship in a bottle. Maybe I'll just finish this for him. I drink it, but I probably get the SS Lumbago stuck in my throat. All right, so we're gonna ship in a bottle. Ickle ockle, ship in a bottle. Ickle ockle out. That's how the rhyme went, wasn't it? It's locked. <clears throat> No, uh, no, maybe they got their pay raise. <clears throat> Town was kind of quiet. Lola. No, down here. Manny. Right, well, nothing happening there, huh?
We're gonna visit all the old places, huh? Anyone here? No beatniks? Looks like it's open mic night. But nobody's here. Shall we give it I a try? I just can't do it without an audience. Will I do? Olivia. Calavera, what are you doing here? I heard you went pow in Zapato, Daddy. Well, Hector Lamont's tried and missed. Now it's my turn. I'm headed to El Maro to put him out of business. Yeah. Man, if that place has changed. You don't know what you're getting into. I'd better come with you. Just give me a minute to get ready. Okay, but if you hear a loud explosion anytime soon, the trip's off. I just can't do it without an audience. Right, so... She's getting ready. Anything happening in here? What are you? What? No! Coffin shooter one, two, three. Just pour, chill, and serve. I would, but I hate sucking gelatin straight from the tap. I don't need the hernia. <clears throat> Nothing in the dishwasher. There are dishes. They still haven't done these? I'm not going to eat off of dirty plates, and I'm not going to clean them. <clears throat> All right. We do have a bottle. It's got a ship in it. That's what the lumbago diorama needed. Fake ocean water. <laughs> I'd drink it, but I'd probably get the SS lumbago stuck in my throat. Right. So now we've got a ship in a bottle full of booze. Okay. I guess she'll show up when uh, <clears throat> when we unlock things. All right. Ready for the animation it's they paid? It's locked! But they paid for that animation! It's locked. They paid for the animation! And now it's locked! Or if security lady is still mad at us. Well, we can't get there, can we? So we can't go up. And, um, it, yeah, basically, they've, they've locked us out of the, uh... Yeah! Stop being a prick. Huh? <clears throat> yeah, we can't use that thing to go over there. So we can't get to the cat racing. <clears throat> so we've, we've seen everything there is here. What have we got? That's what the lumbago diorama needed. Fake ocean water. Oh, yeah, that that's where we haven't been. We haven't been down to the tattoo parlor, have we? Hello, yes. That's that's not going to work being down there, you know, because they can't see you. I don't have cameras on the floor. Come up here. Okay. Someone's sleeping. I think these are binders of tattoo designs. They're labeled nautical and nice. And a third one just says Anchormania. Anchormania! I don't want to wake up Toto. Quit whining! <laughs> Someone else. Oh, Toto's plum tuckered out. Color cost more? No, I don't want to disturb his grumpy little dreams. I don't want to wake up. 
wake up Toto. I kill you. <laughs> oh, Toto's plum tuckered out. It's a little cabinet. Your mother will love it. Is it still empty? I kill you. Right. Is that everything? I wonder if Inez has cooled off yet. Your mother will love it. Hello, operator? Yeah, it's me, Manny. I was just passing through town and... Wow. Still mad. Still mad. Still mad. Huh? Finding. I don't want to wake up Toto. Right, let's... <clears throat> yeah, that's not the sailor. That's someone else who was annoyingly snoring. Right, what do we got here? Liquid nitrogen. Not to be used on bone. Oh, wow. Hey, remember when we needed liquid nitrogen? Uh, he was talking about it before, wasn't he? Now we finally got some. Wow, they're doing deep callbacks here. Okay, we got liquid nitrogen, we got booze in the... Uh, Don't panic. <laughs> Looks like Domino left his calling card. But how? I saw him torn to shreds. He must have done this on his last trip through town. <clears throat> okay. We've got a bottle of booze. With a thing stuck in it and some liquid nitrogen. There can't be too much in here. I'd better save it. Right, I'm not sure how you combine stuff. Um I thought I saw that change to something else. I don't think my hands are steady enough for that. Uh, if our hands aren't steady, then maybe we should have a wee little drink. I drink it, but I probably get the SS lumbago stuck in my throat. Oh wait, liquid nitrogen don't use on bones, right? Liquid nitrogen. Not to be used on bone. And they call Domino's bones, just right? Evaporate. Uh, okay. I don't really want to do that. No, we don't want to do that as well, huh? Right, so we got some liquid nitrogen, we got some booze with a ship in a bottle that if you neck it, you will probably... I've got to get some super glue for that thing. Um, you'll probably choke on the ship inside. <clears throat> and we need to find some way to defuse this bomb. By like maybe kicking over a domino and then running around this way and moving that out. That seems too easy. I'm not setting foot down there. The slightest bump could start those dominoes tumbling. Don't panic. Yeah. All right, what else is there to do? But there's not a lot else to do, because over here is now an empty dock. Howl at the moon. It shone pale as bone as I stood there alone. And I thought to myself, 
how the moon that night cast its light on my heart's true delight and the reef where her body was strewn. Ah, not <laughs> quite the same without old Velasco. Don't have that kind of equipment. Don't have that kind of equipment. Yeah, all right. So we got the moon. The moon. We got gates that go up to nowhere anyway. So there's there's nothing there, is there? There's nothing there. Get off, Walko. There was nothing going on around here. There was definitely nothing at the lighthouse. Mm, not a good sign for Rubicaba's organized labor movement. Why Hello, not? Terry? Not picking that up. And we got... <clears throat> well, liquid nitrogen... Maybe could be used. It's locked. I know it's locked. There can't be too much in here. I'd better save it. I was hoping that maybe we could have used it on the lock. And then we could have got up there. Because they paid for that animation after all. Blue casket. Just doesn't have the zing of Calavera Cafe, you know? Yeah, and what's happened to the cafe in the past couple of years? However long it's been since we've been here. I was hoping we could have used that liquid nitrogen to uh, destroy the lock and go up there, but apparently that's not a thing. Not portable. Not to sound like a capitalist oppressor, but I have people <laughs> who do that for me now. I have staff. Nothing in the dishwasher. We, well, we're not putting plates in the dishwasher, apparently. Is that a bin or is that dish? Ooh, food waste. As soon as I think of a use for stinky food waste, I'll give it a shot. As soon as I think of a use for stinky food waste, I'll give it a shot. Right. So we've got uh, a threatening letter. A, uh... That's what the lumbago diorama needed. Fake ocean water. Ship in a bottle, cover it in drink, liquid nitrogen. Liquid nitrogen, not to be used on bone. Not to be used on bone. Um, I'm not sure what's going on. I mean, aside from pouring the liquid nitrogen on uh, the tattooist, which just seems a bit cruel, really. And I know you say locked. It's locked. But now I'm actually standing in the appropriate spot. There can't be too much in here. I'd better save it. It's locked. Now, def definitely do not appear to be able to use the liquid nitrogen to freeze off that lock. Hmm. And I'm pretty certain, like, maintenance has gotten pretty lax around here, apparently. 
Like, either they've locked us off from those areas because there's nothing there and they don't want us to waste our time, or getting to those areas is the actual uh, task. That goes to the upper dock, but nothing's docked there now. It's locked. That goes to the upper dock. It's locked, but there's nothing up there anyway. That goes to the upper dock, yeah. but nothing's docked there now. So there's nothing up there. Um, give it a minute. <sighs> that said, there is a great big blimp. That maybe we could ride because we still need to get well we're meant to be getting the car but maybe we get the blimp and then glottis pimps the blimp right prepare yourself for the snoring noises Because what else? What else is around here? Shut your hole. Thanks. You asked these for are bunny. binders of tattoo designs. They're labeled nautical and nice. I am. I am an artist. There can't be too much in here. I better save it. Mm. Stop moving. Oh, Toto's plum tuckered out. Shut your hole. No, I don't want to disturb his grumpy little dreams. Not picking that up. I don't want to wake up Toto. Look, cost more. I, I, honestly, I don't, I'm not. Don't think there's anything else happening in here, is there? We got the thing. Color cost more. Hello, operator. Yeah, it's me, Manny. I was just passing through town and. Wow, still mad. Hold still. I honestly don't think there's anything else going on in here. So let's get out of it. <laughs> Right. Got some liquid nitrogen, a boozy ship in a bottle. Someone getting ready who will probably show up when they show up, huh? A great big blimp up there. <laughs> There are a clue in here we've missed. Those dominoes are like one long fuse. Hmm, hmm. So, we're not using liquid nitrogen to freeze anything off, are we? Are we? Hang on, we haven't really interacted with that thing much, have we? Um, there can't be too much in here. I'd better save it. So, not the liquid nitrogen on the handle, but maybe... Stick the note in the bottle and make a Molotov cocktail? I mean... The thing is, combining items is a bit tricky. I've forgotten how you do it. I don't think this game re really does it that much, does it? Um, I don't really want to do that. 
Hmm. So. With both paths being locked, it seems like neither are the option. Right. Glottis, do you want a drink? Yeah, everyone get into position. Oh no. Have we have we glitched out somewhere? Hang on. Oh no, we've glitched. We've glitched out. Glottis has got stuck in some sort of loop. I can't press the escape button. Nothing's happening. We've glitched out again. Fucking buggy ass game. Jesus. A chicken. Um, right, we're back here with... Game glitch. Yeah, right. Let's quickly steal all the stuff and then save again. Let's get ready for some fucking snoring. Assume he means a tattoo. <clears throat> one, one weird, um, Go get the other one. Thanks, Nightbot. Man, they did the week for my old heart, but they were mobbed down. Maybe I'll just finish this for him. was up here. Do we use that lock gate the dock when we were here before? What the one that's to the left of where we are? Yes. It, it, it's always been locked. I think before it was meant to be um, for something else. You'd think after two years he'd have the little SS Lumbago's lifeboats on at least. Booze. That's what the Lumbago diorama needed. Fake ocean water. I'd drink it, but I'd probably get the SS Lumbago stuck in my throat. Calavera, what are you doing here? I heard you went pop. Well, Hector, I'm headed to El Ma Manny, that place is... I'd better come. Just give me... Okay, but if you hear a loud explosion anytime soon, the trip's off. Right, there we go. Let's go her in. Mm -hmm. 
So that's locked and then there's no getting back there. And then there's nothing around here. Let's get saving because we've... I just want to see how far... Um, I'm pretty certain there was nothing at the lighthouse, wasn't there? Just as remembering Lola, huh? No. Didn't he say someone's name when he was standing under the ship? The ship is clickable. No, the ship is not clickable. This is clickable. Mm, not a good sign for Rubakaba's organized labor movement. Not the not the ship, but the this thing. Hello, Terry? Not picking that up. Hello, Terry? But you know, we've got stuff to try. I don't really want to do that. Yeah, not that one then. Hello, Terry? There can't be too much in here. I'd better save it. Uh, neither of them. Harumph, harumph, harumph. So, what I was going to do before everything got all fucked up was try giving Glottis a drink. And if you try and give Glottis a drink, you end up in this weird crash loop, which means that you should probably give Glottis a drink, because it only seems to be that it does these weird fucking bugs when there's a puzzle to be solved. And it grazes you out. Look, can't do anything. Still... What if... <clears throat> What's that? It's, uh, lumbago lemonade. Try it. Mmm. Perkly little aperitif, actually. <laughs> yes, siree. Not bad tall. <laughs> Tell me where you got that right now! Olivia's kitchen. Lumbago lemonade! <laughs> Manny, aren't we in a hurry? Don't worry, this won't take long. Oh, my stomach don't stretch like it used to. Oh, Gladys. Okay, that was a bit weird. What did I do differently? I changed the scene and went into um into the garage and then offered it to glottis from there because i did notice earlier that when we uh, did the whole sort of like don't panic gag <laughs> that it worked in both scenes i didn't have to leave the scene okay now he's got a bad stomach huh 
So what is that stuff they pack canned hams in anyway? <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> okay. Content warning for vomiting, I guess. <laughs> okay, so now he's puked all over everything. It's not gelling. It can't gel now. It got all nice and warm in my belly. Oh, right. Okay, we're trying to make it gel, huh? Now, do we use this as... Are we making nitroglycerin? What's going on here? There we go. Hey, good idea. I bet I could keep it down now that it's cold. Just let me get across first, okay? Whoa, this is weird. So we basically force red we got Glottis to overeat some gelatin who then threw it up and then we froze it so we could walk over here and it is weird and gross. Fiendish. Fiendish indeed. Well, here goes nothing. Ah, uh, sneaky little cat, that, huh? Looks like Hector's taken over the whole town. He hasn't had much resistance. There's only one small group who oppose him, and they live out on the fringes of the city. Places like this, you mean? <laughs> I hope they're not hurting Gladys. Ha! Huh. Shows what you know about this group. Their leader is a great man who. Manuel Calavera, we meet again. I see you have found what you were looking for. How fortunate for you to arrive now just as we too are about to achieve success. Our army has grown, and right now our top agents are in Hector's weapons lab, about to close in on the enemy in his own den. I couldn't have done it without you, Manuel. <laughs> oh no, he got sprouted. It was a trap. Stand back. There's only one thing to do. <gasps> Thank you, sir. You have saved me. But more than that, you have enabled me to continue to serve the movement. What did you say about a trap? Hector uncovered our agent in his weapons lab. No. You idiot foul deer. Your new lavatory sent you to spy. Haven't you ever heard of a background check? What? No time to explain. Now I'll have to take matters into my own hands. Take me with you. I've <laughs> longed to be of service to your cause for years. Are we, are we in charge of Olivia now? What's happening? Or are we going to pop out in a second? Ah, here we go. It's the part of that soldier that didn't get up and hop out of here on one hand. Better save this part from sprouting. Well, yeah, let's steal some bones, huh? The rest huh? of him has gone to seed already. Gone to seed. Okay, here's the plan. I need a disguise so I can get close to Hector, and a gun so we'll have something to talk about when I get there. If you figure out that part, I'll go find out where he is. His casino tower is directly above these headquarters. All right, meet me there. 
So we need to disguise. For dangerous work. She could be very useful to the cause. As far as I'm concerned, she is the cause. Ben. I bet the agent in this photo is the poor guy that Hector just shot. Nothing else in there besides that agent's photo. Which we just picked up. Hey, Eva finally got that radio working. Calling all cars, calling all cars. Manuel, is everything okay? Uh, uh just testing the equipment, Sal. Salvador, maybe you should shut that thing off so we can talk. That would probably get me court-martialed. Right, let, let's, let's talk to Eva, shall we? Any messages for me? Nope. Call stopped coming for you the day you left. They're still sending you that lingerie catalog, though. <laughs> oh, the computers. Who's the plant nut? That nut is Hector Lamont's personal munitions expert, Bowsley, a.k.a. The Florist. That was his job in the old world, but here he is a botanical weapons expert. This has left him fairly conflicted. Why does he make Sprout Tella for Hector instead of our side? We've been trying to recruit him for years, but his lab is in Hector's tower. He's untouchable. Hmm. High-tech surveillance equipment they have here in the sewer. It's attached pretty well. This camera's showing nothing but flowers. Must be another fallen agent. This camera sprouted as well. That's three LSA casualties in one night. I wonder if this is little Manny. Hey, little Manny. Hey, little Manny. Ow! Hey! Must be little Mitchy. <laughs> Already got some. Right, okay, so we've got Thank you, sir. I just saluted with someone else's arm. Brilliant. Um I bet the agent in this photo is the poor guy that Hector just shot. Right, so we we've got uh guy in a photo. We got threatening letter. We still got some liquid nitrogen, huh? I wonder how that soldier's getting by without this arm. Fine, I guess. <clears throat> and we need a disguise, apparently. What else is there in here to click on? Right now, can I leave? No token of glot. No token of glot, yes, but we can. <clears throat> oh, wow. Wow. Whole new level of... Uh... Looks great, but also... Right, the casino. But also... Climb. Just, just climb really fast. Use zip mode. Ah. It's not like Johnny Thunder lets just anybody in his review. No. I mean... Being allowed to wear the Johnny Thunder makeup is an honor. Yes. A privilege. Yes. So I said to her, you give me that 10% discount or I'm taking my business elsewhere. You said that? Well, oh yes, I was mad, you know. And then, here's the good part. Really? Makeup, you say? Oh, yeah. Mmm, show business coffee. Ah, so this is coffee. 
director says. A little too hot for my pockets, thank you. you don't say I don't see any place to serve coffee here. So then I says. Spill coffee on these oh, guys. Coffee, great. Okay. About time we got a PA around here. Hey, kid, keep it black and keep it coming, all right? So what did you... A little too hot for my pockets, thank you. I don't see any place to serve coffee here. Oh, coffee, great. You didn't even drink the last one I gave you, but... It's about time. Uh, okay, so. I am a busy man. Of course, as soon as I save up enough money for a double end ticket, I'm out of here. What? You can't just buy a double N? Well, I know somebody who knows somebody who knows uh, Hector Lamas. Wow, you know everybody. Wow. Oh, coffee. Thanks. <laughs> Oh, coffee. Thanks. So there's just in there is just someone to serve coffee to, and these people know people, oh, right? Shall I just? I gotta put the coffee down. Yeah. But yes, the very Dane was loaded vibes for this uh, little bit, huh? So let's talk to. Uh, oh, are you here for the Thunder Boy tryouts? Thunder Boy. Yes, I am. Oh. That's too bad, because we just got the last two parts. Maybe next season. <laughs> <laughs> and then what? And the hey, out of the dressing room. We got all the Thunder Boys we need. No <laughs> okay. I am not kidding. Hey, out of the dressing room. We got all the. Hey, get lost, pal. No autographs. Hey, get lost, pal. No autographs. Right, go up to them with a photo, and they think it's for an autograph. Okay. Clearly, we poisoned the coffee. Yes. I had to figure out some way to disguise this pretty face before I hit the streets. And there's a theater up there with makeup. All right. Can you can you go down this with any sort of speed, please? Do that thing they do where you like grab the outside and you go wee. All right, fine. Well, let, let's go explore the sewers. What have we got? Got these little mounds. What are they? Hello down there. Ooh, never mind. Go back to sleep, whatever you are. Oof. How about this one? Anyone down here? Monsters? Again? Can anyone hear me besides the scary monster? Dang. I can, but I am the scary monster. Alright, what's what's around here? Okay, I don't know what's down there, but I have issues with it. It has issues with us. Alright, so basically this is one area where there's just a big old scary monster, huh? Alright, fine. <clears throat> Maybe it wants coffee. Maybe it does. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe it's just someone who's like, like very literally. Oh, I'm so grouchy in the morning without my coffee until I've had my coffee. Don't talk to me until I've had my coffee.
but I don't think I'd be able to climb the ladders with the coffee pot and it's too hot to put in my jacket. But if we poison the coffee, this is about the only thing we got to poison the coffee with, huh? Or cool it, it can't with. Can't be too much in here. I better save it. No, well, we're not using it there. I think that would be disrespectful. Yes, it would be. Okay, fine. That I don't see any place to serve coffee here. Hello. <sighs> but what do we poison the coffee with? We can't take the coffee out from here. Oh, wow. Hang on. There's a whole... the whole thing up here we haven't looked at oh thank god right what's going on here this snowmaker is huge but the grinder part looks handheld okay uh -huh. it's a handheld grinder the handheld grinder so we could grind things with it can we just take it And pocket it. Yes, we can. Excellent. This snowmaker is huge. Right. So we we've, we've got a. This lever is attached to the fake snow supply. Cool. Pull it. That would just dump blocks of fake snow on the ground. Not a very festive holiday effect. That would just dump blocks of fake snow on the ground. Not a very festive holiday effect. All right. All right. Is there anything? No buttons. Wait, why are we on grinder? It's a good question. I heard some thumps from outside. Right, so we got a handheld grinder. Mm hmm. Do we grind the... Thank you, sir. Do we grind the dude's arm? I am. Not much use without the grinder. <sighs> to make bone dust? Yeah, okay, so... Number one, we, we have to find somewhere to use it. What's going boom boom outside? Yes, hello. So if we, we put that back there, and now maybe we can... This, this feels very disrespectful. I think he'd be happy to know his body was serving the cause like this. Oh, please tell me that, that the, the, that's going to happen in a second. <clears throat> All right, so now we, that's how you combine them. It's a bone chipper now. It's a bone chipper, huh? I think show people prefer it black. Hmm. But 
That's got stuck in my head, doesn't it? Um. Well, we get a bone grinder, which wasn't that song by Therapy? Question mark. The actual song in question was Teeth Grinder. In my sleep, I grind my teeth. I haven't listened to any therapy question mark in some time. I really should. Right, okay. Who might want some ground bone? And why is it little Manny or little Meche? Mm, nope. Already got some. Already got some. Must be little Meche. All right, okay. No, nope, that's not. What, what do we need bone dust for? Any messages for me? No, nope. call stopped coming for you the day you left. They're still sending you that lingerie catalog, though. Hi, Murray. Uh, I'm sure I just tried putting it in the coffee. And I did because, um, Apparently, show business people prefer it black, prefer their coffee black, so. Hello, Kira. Let, let's get away from. Hi, yes, Kira loves you. I say Kira loves you. I think what's happened is Ray has logged in on Kira's account. Particularly with the way it said, thank you, Kira. <laughs> you were informed there were cats. <laughs> There's always cats. You you went and mithered. Is that a typo for mothered? Or bothered? Did you typo both? Or is mithered a word, a northern word that I've never heard before? Right. I wanted to get to this point because this is quite a nice little jazz tune. <clears throat> Only briefly, your plans are still in effect. Eh? Waggle eyebrows, etc. Right. Oh, someone's perked up. He's seen that camera's moved. Mither to pester or irate someone. Nice. So then I says, is is that a crossword word or a um uh or, or just just a word that you knew? I am a Let's see if we can get smarf in here. Uh -huh. Hello. Yes, hello. There he is. There's Snarf. Hi, Snarf. Let me move that power cable. It was warm. I, I got the phone. There you go. New words. Does sound a bit Scottish, doesn't it? If we have a comp Snarf, you could get to double digits. Right. Ready? Well, well done. All right, there you go. Snarf. You could get good double digits. <clears throat> we have a competition, folks. There is. Young man. And the director says. Hi. Yes, we're getting you in frame. So what did you? So I said. Oh, Snarf is just 
gorgeous. However, all the seeds that get... He gets really annoyed when I help try to groom him and get the seeds out from him. That he brings in with all the weeds and everything. Another reason why I just want to concrete the garden. According to the Oxford Dictionary of English, the word is dialect used mainly in the north. That makes sense. Meaning make a fuss and moan. Oh, men, don't they, mither? The word dates back to the late 17th century, and though it's the exact origin of it, thought may come from the Welsh. Wow. Maybe, may, Snarf, apparently you like being seedy. I mean, you could be oof, oof. Let me, let me get the camera here on... Keep going, Snarf. Keep going. Orko just tried to make a move because Snarf keeps dropping down to the floor. So what did you... you got two more, Snarf. you got two more. Two more to go, Snarf. That's one. That's one. One more left, Snarf. One more left. That's it. Snarf, you've made double digits! Snarf, you won! You won, Snarf! Yay! Go have a lap of honour. Yeah, alright. Yeah, Snarf likes the cheese ones, obviously. Orko, go on, Orko. Have a good sniff around. A momentous occasion. Or go in to lick the box, indeed. Yep, no. And there he goes. Thank you, Kira. Hope you enjoyed your cats. Now back to your... I'm not very good at waggling my eyebrows. Your plans. Mm -hmm. well, I, guess so. I hope that was a good eyebrow waggle. And the director says... Right. <clears throat> we've got a scythe we've got threatening letter we've got some liquid nitrogen we got a photo I bet the agent in this photo is the poor guy that Hector just shot and we've got a a bone machine it's a bone chipper now Regards to the Kira says hi, but you now they fucked off. <laughs> Thank you, Kira. We'll see you soon. Do you think, right? If I get the bone chipper, and I try it in the coffee. I think show people prefer it black. And I think all the booms are in the game. Hey, get lost, pal. No autographs. And a mischievous wing to it. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Myth is a good word, though. Right. Ba -ba 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 -da. So we, we've got a bone machine. We can give people coffee. Maybe. Maybe whatever the monster is likes chipped bones. Because this room's going to be here for something, right? So maybe it's to use the bone machine. Okay, I don't know what's down there, but I have issues with it. Mm, but whatever's down there.
Can anyone hear me besides the scary monster? Dang. Okay, I don't know what's down there, but I have issues with it. Okay, I don't know what's down there, but I... We have issues with it, I know. Um, I have been told to save the I game. I have issues with it. It's fine, let's just see. How, how far are we? Oh, we're getting closer, we're getting closer, folks. Um... So sure, we can sprinkle bone dust at it, and it does nothing. Oh, the, mm. um, hmm, hmm. Do my glottis impression. Hmm. Like what else? What else can we do? Oh, we haven't seen this. That's because Glottis makes noises. Go to sleep, Close your big clear blind eyes. Oh, if the sewer thing is also in here, huh? Maybe. Maybe see a thing gets distracted by bones over there, allowing us to take the very long route. Nope. Okay, I don't know what's down there. But I have issues with it. That's just those stairs. Blind eyes. Right. It's the part of that soldier that didn't get up and hop out of here on one hand. The rest of him has gone to seed already. The rest of him has gone to seed already. Have some powdered bone. That's my solution to everything now. Have some powdered bone. Um, oh, right. Big monster for underneath for reasons. Not sure. Feel like in the room with Glottis, we can distract him. The big monster beastly thing. So that then we can go all the other way and find whatever's in there. I d bone dust, bone dust. Hmm. Hmm. I think yeah, I'm kind of out of ideas, but also I'm thinking it's almost 9 p.m. So I think we should wrap this one up for today. Uh, let's give you a save. Save. All oh, right. Yes, save. Uh, yeah, wrap this one up today. And then we come back with Fresh Heads on Friday. Um, I'm also feeling, I'm feeling hot and tired, but um, I've got a fan on, so I'm not particularly uh, hot anymore. 
but certainly a little bit tired. Uh, right, okay, let's, um, we saved, we saved. Let's go back to Big Face. Lexi, poor Lexi is on, uh, who is Minecrafting. Uh, oh, what was that tweet I saw re earlier? Hold on a sec. One moment, let me just go look at Twitter. At the funny thing someone else said on Twitter earlier. I did retweet it. You might have seen it. Um, uh, yes, yeah, someone earlier on on the Twitter said, "I was about to tweet Stardew Valley is Minecraft for neurodivergent LGBTs." Then I realised Minecraft is Minecraft for neurodivergent LGBTs. I mean. As my various neurodivergent LGBT friends, are they about right? <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> also, as I look at my uh, tweets and retweets, well done, Wix. Um. Anyway, right now we were looking. We were. We were looking. So. Uh. Well, so we got Lexi. Lexi is doing some Minecraft. Emmy is playing Stray. A few way more hours than Stardew than Minecraft. <laughs> um, other people, have, so we we've got depending on how neurodiverse and LGBT you're feeling today. Uh, Inquisitor Meriden, uh, Mads is playing Stardew Valley. Uh, Lexi is playing Minecraft. <laughs> Just saw an amazing preview of a game last night. Do tell us more. Do tell us more. We'll, we'll go see Lexi. We'll go see Lexi because Lexi's lovely. Uh, Cult of the Lamb. Wow. Hang on. Let, let me just. Let me just. Uh, Cult of the Lamb. Uh, okay. Cool. I shall go have a nose of that in a second. In the meantime, getting us ready to raid in for Lexikin. Uh, wonderful friend, uh, lovely friend of Guy Kelly and uh, all of them. Cast players in the role of a possessed lamb saved from annihilation by an ominous stranger must repay their debt by building a loyal following in his name. Wow. Wow. That sounds fantastic. Uh, we got Ray Masters there because Ray is brilliant and remembers these things, which I always forget. Um, absolutely up Miramis Alley. Fantastic. Um, right, so... What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Um, if I'm not too knackered, Tuesday and Wednesday, we should be back to Ickenfell, where I might uh, put cheat mode all, all the way up, because it's getting really hard now. <laughs> um, and then we'll be back here on Friday for more Grim Fandango, and we'll see if we can work out what to do with our bone machine. Uh, and I will be listening to the Pixies. I've forgotten how Bone Machine goes. Um, so there you go. Play for the story. Exactly. Exactly. Play, you know, you, you play for the story. Bone Grinder. Uh, we're raiding Lexi Cake. Right, bye. <laughs> we raided. <laughs>